The next question we are going to tackle is how to create silver or gold lettering in Canva. So for this, let's create a document, um, which is a presentation canvas, okay, 16 by nine. Again, it doesn't really matter which size of document. All right, and the first thing we are going to do is to search Canva image library for this silver or gold kind of texture. Okay, so let me see what happens if I type being on the elements tab uh, if i type silver let's see what happens so i have a free element right here which is kind of like glitter yeah so that's one thing that we could use it as a texture we have this one also free also kind of like a cool texture let's focus on the photos that we have and the ones that are free if you click on this uh, filter here you can turn on the free filter only and you will see only the free images the free photos from the library if you unclick this then you will have a mix between the one dollar elements and the free one so let's focus on the free for now what else do we have we have this which is an interesting texture as well but it's not exactly silver like silver jewelry or something like that we want and we don't want a jewelry this is not bad this briefcase if you stretch it, you can have an interesting like brushed silver texture. Okay, so that's what we have. Not a whole bunch of options right here, at least in the free ones. Uh, let's see for gold. For gold, we have this nice one here. It's not very shiny, but it's gold. Then we have this one. This could be interesting. And we have this one similar to the silver one, but gold ones. So that's not bad. Uh, we have this as well. More like grain, like gold dust, which is okay. And then we have this foil, kind of like gold sheet, gold paper, which is also nice. Okay, so we have enough options. If you don't have enough options, what you can do is simply go to Google Images and start uh, searching for silver color. Let's see. You have stuff like this, like this texture, or you could type in silver or metallic. Metallic, I think is a good keyword. Yeah, you can find a lot of different images that we can use for creating our filling, our texture inside the letters. Okay, good, we have enough options here. So back to Canva, let me show you how you create these letters into which we will be placing our textures like gold or silver. So for this, there is um, something you should know about Canva. Let's unfilter this. Is that there is a, an alphabet of letters that you can use as placeholders. So you will find these under the element tab. You go to all and these are actually frames. So if you click on see all, if you scroll down, you will find these letters, okay? So you have the whole alphabet and also you have numbers from one from zero to nine. So that's zero to nine. So, but basically with these letters, you can actually write anything you like. So let's try two different things. We are going to write silver and gold. Okay, so I need these letters. So I need an S, I, L, V, E, R. Okay, that's silver. Let's create another page and write gold. G O L D. All right, so we have silver here. Let's let's be organized and uh, rename these pages. This is a silver page and this is the gold page. All right, so we have silver and gold. The first thing you want to do is to resize these letters and you don't want to do it one by one uh, because it's going to be a tedious work and you won't uh, be 100% sure they are all the same size. So my tip here is that you leave the letters stacked one on another, just gonna select everything and then you resize them all at the same time. Okay, so you can basically choose the size. Let's choose something so that the word can fit in one page. So something around this, okay? so. Now we are going to reconstitute the word silver. Okay, and I'm going to stack all the letters together like this for now. And you're going to see why in a moment. So we have the word silver here. What I'm going to do is to hold the shift button and use my arrow 
once to the right. I'm gonna do this runs to the left. Actually, I have to do more. Like we need to do two or three actually. So this one two, this one one, this one two, and this one one. Like this. I think now we have the same spacing in between the letters. Not exactly. So you have to adjust this manually. That's the little bit like the tedious work. And if you select everything, you can see there's not enough space between my L and my V. So I'm going to select all this, leave a little bit more. Okay. And I still need to leave more, something like this. All right. This is cool. I'm going to change the background color to have something a little bit more sober. So we see a bit more what we are doing here. This V seems quite isolated so I'm going to adjust the spacing a little bit more okay let's go with this make sure it is centered what I can do is group so now I can easily center this like this okay we have silver let's do gold so we start by resizing all the letters okay we select them all at once and this time we don't have to go so small because the word gold is actually smaller than the word um, silver. Okay. All right. Something like that. The spacing I can see here in the middle, there's a little bit more. So I'm going to bring these two letters a little bit closer. Let's see now. Looks more decent. I'm going to group this, position this at the center of my document. And this is not bad. Let's find a background color. Let's say something that will go well with gold This purple. Not bad. All right. We have silver and gold. Now, because these are placeholders, you can easily position some kind of photos inside the placeholders. So all we have to do is go back to our textures. So we had silver. Let's find our free silver textures. Search for photos. Let's see this one. Yeah, it's better. So I'm just going to drag and drop this visual on every letter right here. Okay, and I have this effect. If I double click on one of the letters, you see that I can reposition my photo here the photo is pretty homogeneous so there's not much of a difference but if we had this one for example then we could play with the light effects and everything okay so this looks pretty decent if you want to make this girly use another kind of background what you can also do is select the whole thing here copy it and put another texture inside of it to create a drop shadow effect okay it's not the purpose of this tutorial and for the gold here, I'm going to find a gold texture actually on Google. So gold uh, metallic texture. Let's see. Yes, this is nice. Uh, I'm going to use with some kind of light effects so I can show you really like this one. I like this one. Let's see if I can download this somewhere. So I'm using a little extension here that I installed that gives me the possibility to explore. This is relatively small. Let's see. Let's save this image. Gold texture. Let's see if this image is big enough for us to work with. So I'm going to import this into Canva. There. I'm going to click on my gold text and insert that. Yes, it looks pretty nice insert that into the letters like this and then by double clicking on it I can really play with the positioning to add this kind of lighting effect see so what I've done I start the first letter was like this and then progressively moving this image all the way to the other side so this looks pretty legit this looks pretty nice I can reduce its size again center it this looks actually 
pretty good. I'm very happy about how this one turned out. The silver one, not so much, but again, it's really up to you to find the texture that you like. If you just go for silver metallic texture, I'm sure you will find better stuff. For example, this one. I will use my view info, copy this, and just paste this URL to find this image. I will save it. And this is my silver texture. Okay, insert this into Canva like this. And then I will change this glitter effect for this kind of metallic brush effect like this. Up. And the R. And then similarly, I can play with the positioning to kind of create this lighting effect within my lettering there. And I'm going to change the background one more time until you find something. This is a really aggressive. Um, yeah, this looks good. Maybe you can have something softer. It's up to you to find the right background, really. It works better with the, the darker background. So this is how you do it, guys. This is how you use letterings. Again, uh, giving you the basic steps right here. First, you need to find a texture that you like. You can either find it in Canva, import it from Google or anywhere else on the web. Just be careful that if you are using this uh, design to sell to a customer, for example, or to a client, uh, you cannot just grab any image from Google. I just did it this way for the sake of showing you, but uh, you probably have to purchase or to find a copyright free image if you want to do this, or you can purchase one from Canva. And then you will go to elements and search all for the letters and these could be found under the frames so frames see all you scroll down a little bit and you will find the letters also if you want to find the letters you can go keyword yeah i think if you type in alphabet in the search here you will find some letters but basically the fastest way to find them is to go elements and then um, frames all and then they are all here so this is how you do it uh, unfortunately they only have one type of font so this font right here which is kind of like a, a all cap kind of font it can do the trick for you at least for now so this is how you do it this is how you create uh, textures letters